And we'll see action. Listen, it's recording now. Good evening, guys. It's your girl Anaya A, and I'm back with you for a quick update recap of tonight's show. On the Anaya A show, we had two special <laughs> visitors and guests. One happens to be oh, Mr. Dion Powell, <laughs> who's laughing his butt off for whatever reason. Hi, Dion. Welcome Marcus, back. Marcus got camera shy. And Alpheus is here with us as well. And here we go. <laughs> I feel it's like bad to get cute. I told I you, like put I'm your face on, on first. I feel like this is a whole TikTok video. You know, they put the brush and then he reappears. Okay, thank you for coming back with us. And you look great, by the way. So, okay, guys, <laughs> what we wanted to do was we wanted to give the community and the people, all our viewers, as well as listeners, etc., a quick recap of what we talked about tonight. I mean, you came in, Alpheus, you shared great resources and great information from the Washington Post, shared things I had no idea about. And, you know, also with your background and your education and experience, it makes even more sense that you're able to share this type of information. So that's why I really wanted to have you back on. And of course, Dion will follow up with his insight and information. So please, if you can, uh, Mr. Alpheus, share some great information that you shared earlier with the viewers now. Well, information basically that I uh, shared, dealt with uh, the John Hopkins Institute, as well as, you know, uh, Washington Post, with their uh, information and references to, again, you know, John Hopkins. Um, it's a lot of information that we haven't been consistent with. Mm. Because we've been relying on the narratives, and as we've seen, the narratives have continued to change. Yeah, you know. But one thing that hasn't changed was the fact that the CDC, as well as the Surgeon General, have always remained to the point that 98% of the people that will become affected by this this virus will fully recover. That's a high number. You know, it never moved from 98%. It never jumped up high. It just remained at 98%. And that 2% of the people that will become affected will be the elderly, those with compromising, compromising immune systems. So literally, like, this whole fear-mongering that's been going on within, within the media is perpetuated by grand design. Mm. You know, when you look at the event of 201, every detail that they spoke about in that exercise managed to materialize in real time. Mm. The only exception being that, you know, originally the virus was supposed to start it off in Latin America, then went to China and then to the US. Whereas in real time, it went from China to the US. And now at the end of it, it's all spinning to minorities. And what they've tried to do within the last few weeks was they tried to demonize the black communities by indicating that the black communities are heavily affected when that's not true you know 27 percent as i stated is you know white americans here in new york state 28 percent is black americans here in new york state while 29 to 30 percent are hispanics so for them to purposely put blacks at that high rate you know it it, it it's a false narrative Mm. You know, more Hispanics, as they say, are affected by this, right? But they never actually spoke about the recovery. That's right. You know, so we don't know exactly what's going on because they control the narrative. And as you see, the narrative has always changed. But one thing that's always been consistent is this. It's not working. Mm. You know, they're slowly but surely doing the changes narrative. If people are li really listening to what's going on, they can see the contradictions, you know? Um, it's sad that the people that's affected by all this here, economically, you know, it's a loss. That's right. You know, and it's a great loss because again, majority of people within African-American and Latin communities heavily depend on work and they have to work two, three jobs just to survive. That's right. And right now, it's, 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 it's a financial pandemic opposed to, you know, a medical pandemic. 
that's taking place. Wow, thank you so much, Mr. Alpheus Marcus, a Harlemite, a community leader, oh, activist, oh, wow. and somebody we uh, highly I just, have a, I just have a sidebar. Um, you guys know what BLM stands for, right? You know BLM? what? Black Lives Matter? Yes. <laughs> so, so far, if we can have a little tangent here, you know, our friends on that side of the family are going upset at Miss AOC because they feel betrayed that she's supporting, you know, Bernie Sanders and Samalis over a certain someone that's running for Congress too. And so now they came with a new YouTube video, which you indulge me. Well, I'm not gonna share it, but it says, shut up and vote. AOC refused to endorse any black candidates and BLM feels, feels betrayed. So I'm not sure if you wanna speak on that, but there's a lot of drama behind the scenes between those progressives and AOC and her camp. So well, we could possibly, we could possibly come back for another show, but tonight's main focus, because I know that topic will take us from here to China, China, like you like to say. China. But for China. now, China. <laughs> we are focused on tonight's panel, the great information that was shared. And of course, Mr. Alpheus really enlightened the community and I mean the amount of comments. And then he followed up everything that he stated. So I do appreciate that, Mr. Alpheus. And if there's any contact information um, that people can reach out to you, because I know you're a consultant and I, you know you're working very hard as a community leader. So if you wanted to share any information, because I know a lot of times the people don't have access to greatness in our communities so they rely on the foolishness that they see and um you know if you have any information that you want to share with who can get in contact with you and i know you have something going on with the education once this thing yes. is over so if there's anything you'd like to share in, re in regards to contacting you this is the time um to share that information as well well they could contact me at mr dot AE Marcus 4 at Gmail with any consultant work. But um as a community advocate, like I said, we're we're really about to engage some of these failing school districts and get them on track because you know some of the things that's been perpetuated by some of our elected officials about right. helping these communities, it hasn't been taking place. Hmm. And a lot of leaders itself has, you know, they they compromise, you know, these communities by allowing these politicians to continue to lie, continue to uh, evade certain uh, enactments of law that would basically even the playing fields. You know, I always hear that we shouldn't rely on politicians, but the fact of the matter, you know, we as blacks, we're still under universal laws of slavery and they have a head start where we have coming up from behind. So we have to run you know, three times, five times as fast as, you know, the whites that already have this uh, great head start. You know, Excellent. Dion is going to try and kill me on that, but. No, you know. he's not. He's going to keep to the point that he business opinion. is supposed to share because we know he's going to try to throw us off, but you are. Me, me and Dion trying. always go through this. Yes. Trust me, I do too. He's Dion like, oh. always go through this. He is my co-host, yeah. and I know him That's very well now, now even more. But you know what? I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate his commentary <laughs> and his wild side. But now we're going to take it back to this, this guy, the Batman guy. Um, so, Dion, in, in spite of all your, you know, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain this. I don't know. In spite of all of this, you're actually very, very smart, and you know, you know, different subject matters, especially when it comes to the financial community, as well as information and resources that is very helpful to our Black community. And although other races have had the head start and you feel a certain way, it's okay how you feel because we're going to dispel all these weird notions and we are going to forget about the past and we are going to help our people. So that's the bottom line. So don't attack Alpheus right now and don't attack me. This is a quick Recap, Dion. When do we I get back on that soapbox tomorrow? But now, in regards to the, the um, SBA, those loan things that we discussed about how there's no more money in, you know, for businesses, small businesses especially, what can you share about that? And also more about Candid for those that are interested in getting those grants. Please, sir. 
right now is not the time, if ever, to rely or depend on the government for anything. Remember, don't depend on black leaders, nobody. Say to yourself, I am a leader. I am, I am the leader. government. Mm -hmm. I run my own block. I run myself. First of all, all these programs ran out of money. And the people that know the game, invented the game, they applied for the money in millions and got it all out. Whereas your small black business making in maybe $50,000 capital per year is not getting anything because you didn't finish the application. And for the nonprofits that black people own, the social service, anything related to coronavirus, business ideas, now the time to get that free money, grant money that's out there. Candid, the Foundation Center, uh, Google the word grants.gov, and they can put you in the sources of the nonprofit realm, even small business grants that you don't have to pay back for your business. Attack that. All government contracts. Go to freaking FEMA.gov. Go to DHS, Department of Homeland Security.gov. Go to freaking, um, uh, 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 it's called SAM. They have a SAM.gov, uh, which is the central contracting system. And apply for any grant uh, or contract related to coronavirus, New York City, and beyond, even if you sell shoes. All right. Apply for that money. Apply. Keep it moving. Don't let nobody hold you back or inspire you to do otherwise. Don't blame anything in society. You know exists. Put it back in your mind. Put the figure at yourself and keep it pressing. Keep moving. And that's right. Thank you, Dion. And please share um, how people can get in contact with you because I know you do excellent work in the communities as well. And you have a ton more resources just in case people want to follow up with you. Share that contact info, please. My name is Dion D. David, I O N. Last name is Powell, P and Peter, O W E L L. Dion dot Powell at Gmail. That's Dion dot Powell at Gmail. Thank you so much. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure, excuse me, to speak with you guys tonight. If you guys look back on Facebook and Instagram, you'll see the number of comments questions we got another call in we did a, another call in tonight which was super amazing this platform is growing and i had no idea it would even get to this point but this is why we do what we do alphias i thank you so much dion i thank you and i'm looking to continue to build with you guys and in regards to what you were talking about dion earlier um i am in the process of getting my um 501c3 so i will be turning to you guys as well for some additional support and of course you guys can be consultants in this whole thing so we all can get paid together because that's what it's all about um as you guys can see this thing back here just to let you know um alpheus and Dion, this is from when i won the 2019 um neighborhood grant um i got this uh citizens committee for new york city grant it wasn't like a whole lot of money but that was my first grant i ever got and at the time i needed a micro grant sponsor. Yes, exactly. I needed a fiscal sponsor. However, they gave me different options. So I know all about what you're talking about. But a lot of times, and this is why these recaps and this information is so important, our people do not necessarily understand the fundamentals of grant writing or fiscal sponsors or, you know, opening up the right accounts and the right verbiage, right, in order for them to be successful in this game. And also there's trillions of dollars in regards to grant funding. So at another time, we'll follow up. However, um, Dion, hopefully we can meet soon. Um, Alphias, maybe all three of us can sit down and, and come up with some strategies to bring forth to the community because it's time to build as we have this downtime. All right, guys, so thank you so much for tuning in with us and, and sharing you know, great information tonight and joining us because without you, you know, we have no community. It's all about love and support. And I'm so proud of all the work that you're doing. Anything else you wanted to share before we close this thing out? Ooh. Hmm. No, I guess that's a no. Yeah. All right. I all right, it's a wrap for tonight. Thank you guys. You were the best. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I just got a I just got a comment from a homegirl named um Heather Hunter. She wants to know why um uh, why the ladies call Mr. Marcus. My homegirl from Heather Hunter right here. So oh. she, she wants to know why they call you Mr. Why the ladies call you Mr. Marcus? Pump faking. See how you do that? I can't. I was sitting there waiting too. Like you, wait. You see it? Go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Malcolm. Mr. Uh, Marcus. I said Mr. Malcolm. Go ahead, Mr. Marcus. No, he pump faking. Heather Hunter is a porn star. Oh, I see. Really? I oh, I didn't know that. Good night, guys. I'm going to end this recording. Dion, you are the worst. And I'm sitting up here oh, waiting. Oh, the worst. He said porn star, not me. My uh, I'm like, 
Bye, guys. Thank you. Have All a right. great one. <laughs> All right. Good night. Well,